After this dog gave birth, her owner saw a human baby's hand beneath her. Dogs are one of the most gentle, caring, and emotionally intelligent animals in the world. They look after their puppies as well as any adult human would look after their babies, and they strive to be a good parent from the moment they welcome their puppies into the world. This was the case when an Argentinian dog named China gave birth. However, when her owner went to take a look at the litter of new puppies, she saw something unexpected and shocking. China was a beautiful and well-mannered dog. She had always been comfortable around people, and she had always enjoyed the attention of humans. She couldn't have been any more placid and subdued if she tried, though she did enjoy socializing, both with other dogs and people. The gorgeous dog lived on the outskirts of a large Argentinian city with her owner, who saw China as her pride and joy. It was much to China's owner's surprise when she noticed her dog was pregnant, expecting a large litter of puppies. She went to have it confirmed by a vet, who told her that she would be expecting seven or eight babies within the next month. It was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. China had never been a mother before. This was her first litter, but her owner knew that China would instinctively know what to do and ultimately become an amazing mother. In fact, her owner had seen how China reacted around other animals and knew that she was at heart a caring and loving dog. Whether it was the neighbor's cat that had wandered into the garden or her friend's pups that had come to visit, China would treat them gently and with the love and respect they needed. It's a rare thing to see a dog so in harmony with every living thing around it, so it was always quite a touching thing to see. Little did China's owner know just how far that love and affection would extend. The dog's belly soon became swollen, full of the puppies that she would be giving birth to, and through one restless night, China brought seven tiny babies into the world. It was a miracle that they all survived, as often with a litter so big, one or two of them don't make it. But miraculously, someone must have been smiling down on China and allowed all seven of her puppies to live. Her owner was overjoyed and gave both China and her puppies plenty of attention. She made sure that she provided China with extra care, though. After all, it was her first litter, and there was a good chance she may struggle to cope with their energy and to feed them all. Luckily, she took to the task like a duck to water. China was a natural mother. From the moment the puppies were born, she knew exactly what to do, how to treat them, and even had no issue breastfeeding, a task that surprisingly few dogs can do on their first few tries. The vet was called out for a house visit, and as she checked the puppies over, China was allowed to roam the field just beyond the garden. It was her favorite thing to do, and she loved stretching her legs and running. After half an hour, China's owner heard the dog door flap open as she was seeing the vet to the door. It was obvious that she had just returned from her fun in the field. The vet left, and China's owner, having just spent the past half an hour with the puppies, made her way upstairs to bed. She shouted to China, who dutifully came bounding to the bottom of the stairs and looked up at her owner, as if to bid her good night. Little did the owner know what she would wake up to in the morning. Screaming filled the air. China's owner's eyes popped open, and she listened carefully to the sound of a distressed child. She was immediately alarmed, because it was clear that the crying was coming from within her own house. Pulling on her dressing gown, she barreled downstairs, heading toward the source of the noise. But as she walked into the room where China and her puppies were staying, her eyes became wide with shock and confusion at the sight that greeted her. The puppies were in their usual pile, feeding from China, but underneath the adorable mass of fur and paws protruded a tiny human hand, a baby's hand. The owner froze in her tracks and could barely breathe. Why was there a human baby there? The owner panicked and gently plucked the baby from the litter of puppies. China looked on passively, seemingly content that she'd done her job of looking after the poor, crying child. She had kept it warm and even cleaned it with her tongue. China understood that even though the baby wasn't one of her own, it still required love, attention, and looking after. But where on earth had the baby come from in the first place? China's owner had absolutely no idea. She wrapped the child in a soft cotton blanket and took it to the authorities, explaining how and where she found it. Before long, they started a nationwide manhunt to find the mother. After several weeks of petitioning and searching, though, they were no closer to discovering the identity of the poor child's parents. What they had managed to do, though, was figure out the timeline of events and how China ended up caring for the infant. They established that at that point the baby was six weeks old. 
It was found in a field on the outskirts of a city where teenage and underage pregnancy was rife, so the authorities pondered whether the child was the result of an unwanted pregnancy. The mother must have abandoned the child in a field, and China had stumbled across the baby while wandering around and taking a walk. Judging by the small bite marks on the back of the child's neck, it was evident that China had picked the child up and carried it to her litter. She then kept it safe and looked after it overnight, treating it like one of her own until it was discovered by her owner. She must have slipped the child through the dog door with her the night before as her owner was seeing the vet out of the house. China had curled up around the baby and even managed to get it off to sleep. As the infant slept, it had rolled over, bringing it closer to the edge of the bedding and away from the other puppies. China woke up and noticed she had moved away, stood up, and walked around to the baby, where she began to gently push her back towards the center of the bed and into the mass of sleeping puppies. China knew that she couldn't let the poor child get cold, as it might become sick or even get hurt if it rolled any further out of bed. She remained wrapped around her litter and the baby until it started to stir as the morning sunlight started to fill the room. Then, as she fed her own puppies their morning milk, she lay gently nuzzling the baby, licking its head and face in a show of love and affection. It didn't matter one bit to China that the baby wasn't hers. What mattered was that she looked after it. It truly was a selfless act from a loving dog. Luckily, the baby was soon adopted and eventually raised by a loving family into a kind and conscientious person. The ordeal of her childhood was soon forgotten and her new family wanted to focus on her future. They of course knew the story, but they didn't think it served their adopted daughter any good to know the circumstances of why and where she was abandoned. But every year, without fail, they would send birthday and Christmas gifts to China, who would happily enjoy the treats and toys that she received. But no one would ever forget China's contribution to this baby's life. If she hadn't had found the child and brought it back to her litter of puppies, its chances of survival were slim to none. They more than likely would have died alone and abandoned in the field. China was hailed a hero and even received a special award in Argentina recognizing her bravery and contribution to saving a life. She had cared for the child without question and provided it with all it needed to keep it alive, and China did all of that by instinct and without a second thought. What do you think about this amazing story? How would you have reacted if you were China's owner and discovered an abandoned human baby in amongst her puppies? We love to hear from you, so be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great stories.